So why did I steal these Legos from my son's room just now? And what do they have to do with digital x-ray imaging? Hey guys, I'm Brian Nett from howradiologyworks.com. We have bite-sized content for those in the radiology field, especially if you're a technologist. Today we're going to be talking about x-ray detectors, especially digital x-ray detectors, and just the basic definitions on a digital x-ray detector. So here's our sophisticated model of a digital x-ray detector. And don't worry about the fact that I got different color Legos here. They're all the same, but at a high level, what we're trying to show you is that on a digital x-ray detector, there's a repeating pattern and there's different parts within each, what's called a detector element or a DEL. So instead of calling it a pixel because pixels are picture elements, we call them DELs when they're detector elements. So within each DEL, there is an active area. So you can think about this red area here as being an active area. And then you can see there's some inactive area where we have essentially electronics, connections, and so on. So the x-rays as they come in, the x-rays that hit this active area, they will be detected. And the x-rays that hit this inactive area, they will not be detected. So in general, we'd like that active area to be high. And we quantify that active area by talking about what we call the fill fraction. So the fill fraction is basically what percent is active here out of each detector element. So we're going to go into more details on how we, how we calculate that in just a little bit. But that fill fraction and that active area are very important concepts as well as what's called the pitch in a detector. So it's not the pitch in a CT scanner, but the pitch in a detector is how frequently these basically reoccur. So we have the same pattern that's reoccurring where you have a DEL, and then the space in between them, we call that the pitch. And then the number of elements. So this very simple one just has two elements here, but the number of elements typically on a flat panel detector Often you'll have hundreds or even a thousand elements on that flat panel detector. So more details about the high level definitions for x-ray detectors coming up now. So in general, the digital x-ray images are taken with x-ray elements these are often called detector elements or DELs. So this detector element here, a lot of times we call interchangeably with a pixel. Pixel is also used to talk about the element on the display. So just to be very clear, this is called a DEL a lot of times or a detector element. And then if we look at the pitch, the pitch is the distance from one DEL to the neighboring DEL. So that's the pitch on the detector. And you can see there's part of the detector, which is the actual active area of the detector where x-rays will be received. And there's another part where x-rays won't be received. And so we'd like to have that ratio of the area which is active, so-called active, which can detect the x-rays. I like to have the ratio of that active area to this non-active area to be larger. And specifically, the fill fraction is the ratio of the active area, this inner part here that we show in this picture, active area that's going to detect x-rays, to the whole size. We'd like to have that be as large as possible. That's the fill fraction. And then the matrix size is the number, and it's usually a two-dimensional number for these detectors, a number of detector elements in one dimension times the number in another dimension. So for instance, 1024 by 1024 would be a possible number of matrix size for how many DELs you have. And finally, the sampling frequency on the detector, the limited frequency, the highest that you could do on the detector, 
is actually just one over the pitch. So this pitch will be in a distance unit, like millimeters, and then the sampling frequency will be in one over that distance unit. So we'll just go through a couple sample problems related to these definitions, just so that they're all clear. So for instance, in sampling frequency, we just defined what the sampling frequency was, and if we say if our detector is 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters, so a pretty large detector, and the matrix size is 1000 by 1000. So what is the sampling frequency? So if you remember, sampling frequency is just one over that pixel pitch, so we have to figure out what that pixel pitch is. So the pixel pitch, we can say we have 50 centimeters, so 500 millimeters, and then we divide that by a thousand. That's our pixel pitch. So the pixel size is one half of a millimeter, and then the sampling frequency is one over that, one over one half. That's two, right? So just two, and then the units are inverse millimeters. Then the next thing we want to talk about is fill factor. So imagine if your fill factor was in each direction, you had a one millimeter by one millimeter area of a detector element, and then you had half a millimeter by half a millimeter of an active area. So what's that fill factor? So if we say the pixel area, we need to calculate the pixel area and the active area, and then we use their ratio to figure out the fill factor. So the pixel area is one millimeter by one millimeter, and then the active area is 0.5 millimeters by 0.5 millimeters. So if we take that, that active area is 0.25 millimeters squared, and for the pixel, one millimeter squared. So the fill fraction, if you remember, we just say active area divided by the pixel size, and then those two units will cancel out. So that fill fraction is just a number, doesn't have units, and the fill fraction for this case is 0.25.